All right, so let's take a look at Amazing from Jack Halber. Uh, this program will print out a different maze every time it is run and guarantees only one path through. You can choose the dimensions of the maze, i.e. the number of squares wide and long. And we do have some computer limitations here. The amount of memory available will determine the maximum size maze that may be constructed. Um, experiment on your system with the maze dimensions in statement 1 to 10. From Jack Halberd, the Loomis School in Windsor, Connecticut. So for this one, uh, the actual limitations will just be what... The problem with doing a very large maze is not that it can't be generated, it's that it can't be displayed and actually run or viewed all in one uh, sort of window. There's no sort of scroll bar function. So uh, just in my testing, I decided on a 10 by 10 maze. So that's the one we're going to be sort of generating and then uh, solving for. All right, so the amazing program. Let's start the timer again. Amazing program by Jack Halbert, Luma School, Windsor, Connecticut. What are your width and length? Let's say uh, 10 and 10. There you can see it generated that, okay. So that was, uh, it's basically just a maze generator program and then we're gonna solve it. So you can see here, actually, I guess we could have done a bigger width. You know what, let's, should we run it again and do a larger width? Yeah, let's do a little bit larger width, try to make it a little bit more challenging. Uh, definitely the 10 for the length, but we can maybe try a larger width. So should we try, let's just experiment 17 and 10. Yeah, okay, that's that's pretty good. All right, let's right, let's roll with this one. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this is, um, I guess this is our, this will be our entrance up top, and then our exit will be down here, and then I'm just going to go with my mouse cursor, which I think you, you guys can see that, right? Yeah, it's getting captured. So I'm just going to run the maze this way, and we'll just have to try to get to the end. Let's try going down here. It's probably going to be a dead end. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, that one was easy. <laughs> that one was easy. There it is. After a minute and 21 seconds, we have done, completed the maze, the amazing maze. This is having trouble. There we go. I think we got lucky with that one. Usually, my tests are a little bit tougher than that. I know that it looks like very almost laughably simplistic, but um, for people to be able to program their own games and then like play them, I mean, it's a whole new thing, right? And you can do this um, without having to go to the arcade. Pretty cool for the time, I guess. Right? So that was amazing. Wasn't it amazing? <laughs>